Let's see how much you know about the Dojutsu users from the Naruto world. Well, even if you know much about the characters, there's still a lot to uncover about the strengths of these users. Have you ever been able to figure out who is the strongest one among all Dojutsu users? Well, it's quite confusing for so many people since every other character in the Naruto world does not possess these abilities. As there are several clans with different types of users, identifying the most powerful one can be quite difficult. However, we have gathered all the techie insights of these characters to help us formulate this list. Take a deep breath and let's get started to find out who is at the top of the list. The Sage of Six Paths' son, Indra Otsutsuki, was a legendary figure in Naruto who had some exclusive visual powers. Now, these powers were inborn, and ever since his childhood, he could freely use them. It seems he got these exclusive powers from his father. Can you believe that he could use the Sharingan when he was a little boy? Afterward, he mastered other advanced visual powers like Mangekyo Sharingan, the most infamous of dojutsu in Naruto. He would give the opponent a hard time whenever he was in one-on-one -on -one battles. He was a pro at controlling the strongest chakra, flowing through his body and defending him against attacks. You wouldn't believe it, but even Asura Otsutsuki couldn't beat him. And the entire reason is because he could use powerful eye techniques, and that too pretty tremendously. It goes without saying that Indra is one of the strongest dojutsu users in Naruto. Mikoto and Fugaku Uchiha's first son, Itachi Uchiha, had a brutal childhood. The Third Shinobi World War broke out when he was only four years old, and he witnessed many casualties, which later made him extremely traumatized. He had this dream of becoming a notorious and powerful ninja who could stop these dreadful fights. He became one of the most prominent yet strongest members of the Uchiha clan in no time. When he was a young boy, he successfully awakened the Dojutsu Sharingan. He was a wunderkind and could perform Sharingan effortlessly. Yeah, you heard that right. But his visual powers do not end there. As time passed by, he awakened another powerful dojutsu, Mangekyo Sharingan. With the help of Mangekyo Sharingan, Itachi successfully awakened Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi. All these incredible visual powers make him stand out amongst other dojutsu users and supercharge him to give a tough time to his opponent on the battlefield. Obito Uchiha was previously known as Tobi. Without a doubt, he surprisingly went from comic relief to a complete mastermind within a few arcs. He controlled the Akatsuki from a distance, shyly observing from the sidelines. But do not be mistaken, this baddie kept a strong eye on everything and carefully worked out the pros and cons before making any moves. You may be surprised, but even Itachi used to underestimate him and was unaware of his ulterior motive. Did you also find Naruto and Obito to be kind of similar characters? Well, many folks did, and were surprised when he went from nothing to a complete powerhouse in a blink of an eye, just like the protagonists. He drifted towards the dark side after the loss of his dearly loved companion, Rin, and unbelievably turned into the most terrible villain in the Naruto series. How he single-handedly fought and defeated the powerful members of Akatsuki is a pretty solid enough reason to have him on this list. If we take a look at the founding members of the Akatsuki, Nagato does pop up straight into our mind. He was ambitious and wanted to end the violent shinobi world, along with his childhood friends Yaiko and Kona. They wanted to achieve a complete transformation from the violence spreading world into an era of peace. We're part of an organization that's working to bring peace to this village. Ever since the death of Yaiko, the dream became difficult to turn into a reality. Nagato, as well as other members of Akatsuki, were defenseless against powerful outside forces. Right around this time, Obito took charge, and the aims of Akatsuki were slightly altered. To bring the era of peace in any way possible. Without a doubt, their intentions were self-sacrificing. Their methods were loathsome and appalling. Nagato used to call himself Pain. He could take down the entire Hidden Leaf Village and be able to control the bodies of numerous ninja. He was defeated by Naruto, and we believe that Naruto lost a valuable ally in Nagato. He seemed like a less aggressive one, but his attack techniques are a treat to watch. Kakashi Hatake, a shinobi from the Hatake clan of Konohagakure, famously known as the Copy Ninja. It's the Copy Ninja from the village hidden in the leaves. Kakashi of the Sharingan. He used to teach about leadership and teamwork in Team 7. It's so basic. 
teamwork. Although he personally did not like to have any responsibility. Unlike other ninja, he didn't have any innate visual power. Obito Uchiha gave him access to dojutsu in the Third Great Ninja War, and that's where all his luck changed. He had impeccable control over the Sharingan, one of the most powerful dojutsu. Itachi, being an expert in Sharingan himself, always appreciated and cherished Kakashi's Sharingan. Did you know that Kakashi got the hang of the ultimate Mangekyo Sharingan in a way shorter period? He awakened this dojutsu much earlier than he was expected to and carved his way as a powerful dojutsu user in Naruto. But the excitement does not end here, folks. When Kakashi and Kaguya were in a one-on-one -on -one battle, the former got access to the Six Paths power, which made him more powerful, tough, and very hard to beat. Madara Uchiha, one of the strongest characters in Naruto, comes in at number 5. Did you know that this historical figure was one of the founders of the village hidden in the leaves? Madara Uchiha serves as the leading villain role in the history of Naruto. Even so, he's still a prominent and legendary character. Ever since the time of Asura and Indra, the battle between the Senju and Uchiha clans was becoming intense. The battle became even more daring when Madara Uchiha and Hashirama Senju fought head-to-head -head for the village's control. The entire modern ninja world was transformed, and Madara lost the battle. In the shinobi world, Madara is highly valued, particularly for his unmatchable fighting skills and extraordinary visual powers. We can't end this entry without mentioning one of the greatest victories of Madara, though. Any guesses? He got the hold of the ultimate five Kage, who were extremely sought-after ninja in Naruto. That was entirely his own personal win. Madara is surely a force that can never be taken for granted. Hagoromo was one of the twin children of Princess Kaguya, and he had this incredible innate superpower of having powerful chakra just like his mother. He was known historically as the father of Indra and Asura, and the stories of his bravery and boldness were famous in the entire Naruto world. Hamura, the fraternal twin of Hagoromo, sealed the ten-tailed beast inside him, and that's how he turned out to be the first ever strongest Jinchuriki. But the question remains, what makes Hagoromo take the number four spot on our list? What are the superpowers that make him stand out amongst other heroic characters in Naruto? Did you know that Hagoromo was the first one who had the innate ability to perform the Rinnegan? He could perform classic techniques like Genjutsu, Taijutsu, and Ninjutsu. Super powerful, right? I mean, Rock Lee could only do one of those things. If we dig deep to find the wisest of all men in Naruto, it's Hagoromo who turns out to be the one. Throughout his youth, he continued spreading wisdom, peace, and love. Now you gotta believe that Hagoromo Otsutsuki was not just some ordinary dojutsu user. In fact, he's got some extra skills that nobody else even deserves. In the Boruto era, Ishiki Otsutsuki gets introduced as the main antagonist who is extremely arrogant, remorseless, and pragmatic. But still, he is the toughest dojutsu user yet in Naruto. Kaguya Utsutsuki and Ishiki were partners, and now he's the leader of the organization called Kara. Ishiki also crushed Jigen's brain and body, which shows extreme brutality on his part. Now let's hop on to the exclusive dojutsu powers Ishiki has. The most unique feature of his visual powers includes having access to the dojutsu Byakugan in one eye, and the other eye had access to another unknown dojutsu. His visual powers allow him to break down slash shrink non-living matter and transform them into something as small as microscopic organisms. Ishiki could also perform Sukana Hikona and Daikokuten, which are the rarest techniques in Naruto. Without a doubt, Ishiki's visual powers make him an extremely powerful dojutsu user. The Uchiha clan had the toughest yet most valiant members. But if we're talking about that one member who is arguably the strongest of all, its last survivor, Sasuke Uchiha, certainly steals the show. What do you think? Itachi had many jewels to his crown, but when he was suddenly killed by his brother, it put an end to him seizing the title of bravest Uchiha member of all time. That's how his historical shinobi career came to its shocking end. But the story of Sasuke still continues as he remains an important character for most of the fans. So what makes Sasuke one of the most powerful characters in Naruto? Well, he's a pro with lightning chakra for one. And the Rinnegan is the most powerful of the three great dojutsu, and Sasuke could utilize the Rinnegan's power. And that's how he was among those few ninja that could threaten Naruto. On numerous occasions, Sasuke Uchiha proved to be an ideal physical match to the seventh Hokage. 
Kaguya was the mother of Hamura and Hagoromo, Ishiki Otsutsuki's partner, and a leading matriarch of the Otsutsuki clan. In the course of endless war, long before the hidden villages were set up, Kaguya became the first ever wielder of chakra after eating the fruit of the god tree. Later, she merged with the god tree and formed the robust Ten Tails. The mother of Chakra, Kaguya is the toughest and most challenging opponent for the shinobi world and Naruto. So what makes Kaguya the most powerful Naruto character? I'm sure you've got some mixed thoughts about it, but believe you me, it's not that simple to answer. Kaguya was a pro at performing interstellar travel. Subduing people, putting them to sleep, and erasing their memory was not a big deal for her. She could create shockwaves and force fields within a matter of microseconds. The shockwaves could repel and slaughter her opponents. Whoa. If we consider a one-on-one -on -one battle, no one can single-handedly beat the ultimate goddess Kaguya. You may be surprised to hear this, but even the titular Naruto fails to beat her. Well, I hope this video helps you identify the top 10 dojutsu users, but this is not all of them. There are a lot of other characters who might have been missed here, so feel free to name them for us.